Okay, folks, basically I'm showing you here that basically this is my video of, uh, what the heck was it that I put the name on this thing? Because basically I just search my data, what I'm looking at, and then I put the name out there. Okay, this was brightness, uh, sky, winter, okay, and there with the, there is a lot of, just go watch it if you haven't watched that video. There's a lot of facts there. They, I, it was one of the videos that I showed you where, they were not allowing them to uh, post comments, okay? And if you say something like that, bye. You see what I'm saying? So, and uh, to show you a fact on that guy there, I went ahead and went to his site. And basically, you just have to remember that when you get ones like that from wherever, uh, they are basically shills, okay, from astronomers uh not from basically big money yes world markets food this that whatever and so forth but nothing's going to happen what is going to happen is we are going to follow the sun the sun's in the supergiants we might either get a, a less brighter star uh or a brighter one or more than one sun and have daylight a lot more often until we get past the supergiants because the supergiants exist okay it's scientific uh, fact. You see where I go for my information. I could go to another search engine. That's the best one. It's German. Aktong! Aktong, baby! We love it. So anyway, uh, there's a lot of uh, stuff that they just don't want you to know. And basically, so I finally got in here and was able to, I uh, was kept on wondering. So there's got to be something they really don't like that's really truthful when you go to my video. Brightness, sky, winter, duh, yeah. Because we know we ain't got no goddamn snow anywhere, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And everybody that owns uh, anything into making money off ski resorts and so forth for the winter is pretty flippin' pissed off. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have stuff happening, okay? So, let's get into more facts and data sharing in just a second. So, real fast, let's take you to this image here, because that is not Pleiades, okay? But we do have Pleiades up to the outside on... I believe, okay, there's our back door, more than likely the meatball in the black hole there. Uh, we do know about, know about the supergiants. That's a closer in shot. Uh, Mars is close by us as you look at and how they make everything look that everything is all cool because you look here and they have Mars featured there, which it is. It's right there, okay, but it's the blue background, and you don't get to see all the sun from the supergiants. That, yes, folks, even though it's a shitload of distance between us and Mars, okay, and denoting that they don't really tell you exactly which one, correct, because more than likely it's the biggest one, there's Venus. Uh, they don't like you to know how hot it is out there, okay, because we've seen Mars get flame owed, okay, and then you've seen that dead dark planet. A lot of people, I actually, I don't think I can actually even post comments to that one. Or we found that the black planet basically out there in a sense. Okay, so let's go back to our image that we basically today on the 18th that we've got there, which is not Pleiades, which is right there. Okay, uh, and I'm not going to upload Stellarium. Uh, not a big Stellarium fan. If somebody wants to give me a, uh, what are they ever? But that's what I'm pissed off about it is you go to them, you're supposed to be able to get like a free offer from them, and the credit didn't work, okay? So it's like, I'm not wasting my time with something that I can't even see because basically I love Soho and Sechi because basically you're going to actually see the shit and not whatever from either in, you know, and I'm, I'm not anti uh, Stellarium, maybe it's cool, but that's what you have to be careful about Worldwide Telescope and any of those is because it's just like the NASA photos. Art is concepts? Yes, they touch them, okay? And these are overlays also, but we actually get to see, okay? And then Pleiades is that big M45, but M45 is actually a damn planet up there, okay? It's not just the object of Pleiades total, okay? And we do know, and this shot was from... So more than likely that is Pleiades, and that's what we've been seeing around. But we also have this cluster out there, 
Okay, and then this shot was taken down on, or taken of. Now this possibly could have been Jupiter since it was taken on, but I really doubt it because Jupiter is supposed to be up and behind us. And this one was taken on the 13th, and I had pressure here. So this is all the 13th and so far. So let me go to photos real fast. And to show you folks is I don't cut and crop or anything. So what I did is I went to Word through a photo on there of A and then also of B. And when someone says they can't see the same object going across, you can't. Because basically, uh, I had it loaded up, and you will be able to see that this is this. Okay? And you have to remember when they zoom in and they zoom out. Okay? So when you see all of this from H1A, yes, that's the super giants, folks. Way the hell up here, shining and everything like that. And some of these objects, right, like in that cluster there, are as big as Jupiter. Now they're a long ways away. Okay? Now, Jupiter is 10 point something times the size of the sun. Uh, it takes 10 point something to make the sun. So basically, you just round it off at 11 Jupiters to make the sun. Okay? This is this. Right here. This outcropping right there is this. Okay? From the other side, from the other camera. Okay? from B. Okay, and I think I'll be able to show you on here because basically you watch that area there, and I think I did take the pictures of, and it's still the same area there on A, and if I end up with B on here, there's H1A, and that's how much humongous the supergiants are and so forth. So the latest B that I saved, I'll basically just go back, but you see how much of a gap they give you here, and they are straight in a line. Okay, the supergiants go up like this, and then they're over here to the right. Okay, this is at our back door, and this is what very an interesting constellation we get there. And I'll go back to the live shot, and I'll pump it up to 400%. And there you go. It's basically that's H1B here to the right. Okay, so yes, it does give you the view of this on the back side, the other side. H1A is, I believe, on the right hand side of Earth. If you're on Earth and looking out into space, H1A ahead is up to the right, and B is up to the left. Okay, and they're at an angle because they can't go into the supergiants. They can't go into all this massive sun there. Okay, so uh, you're not going to see them go around farther than what they've been able to do in the past, or if they've even done that full circle. Okay, they had to have gotten that full circle to get up there, but then again, they may have propagated those satellites up there without going all 360 degrees. I'm not positive. You can't sit there and believe NASA if they did or not do that. Okay. So let's pop in back in here. So if you keep on looking at this, I found a B real fast. And if you keep looking at B right there, right about there, this is the other side, okay, from B. When you're looking at A, it's that other part that I showed you. And what's very interesting, when, when you look back at Pleiades, up, way above it, look at this huge, and I should be able to zoom this in, huge planet. At a distance is... It has to be bigger than Jupiter, okay? Right there. In our back door, folks, because like I say, this was basically, this is back door action of Earth, because I'll show you in the photograph in a minute. But as you see, this is a huge planet. Now let me zoom back out to just what I zoomed into, okay? And then I will go to the next picture, and you will see that the idea that that's that planet right there, okay? And you see how huge Pleiades is, okay? Now this is a bright planet or has metals on it that's very, very, very bright. Now, we also seen that cluster there by Earth recently, and we should be able to get to a date on the shot that I took on here, and then you got Pleiades up to the right. Okay, and then uh, we should get the date of this shot here in a second. Basically, I think this was either from the 15th or the 16th, uh, as far as the photo from Sechi. Might even be the 16th. And there, there's going to be stuff on the moon I'm going to end up showing you folks in the future, okay? We're going to get good shots of the moon and not more than likely believe anything that we're seeing. So when you have that, that's Supergiant's main. And then the, those bees that I showed you, that's that there from the other side, the other shot from B behind. A is ahead. This should be up to the right hand. When you're standing on Earth and looking out anywhere, if, you, if we have this towards the sun, on the right hand side is where, set you, where H1A is at. Okay? is on the right hand side on your right 
looking up at the sun. So there's that interesting cluster that we have that's spare by Earth. And oh, I think that we'll get there. Yeah, that was the 16th that got that shot from, okay? So when the other one uh, bled in and they don't like to see, it's just basically, folks, you're never going to get, I don't even waste my time seeing what the hell that notification is, but they absolutely are watching my screen. I, I, it doesn't matter. I know Windows. I know SCADA. Don't even care. Doesn't bother me at all. They do not like the fact that, and I'm not a layman, because the idea that they haven't, they are still in uh, total denial of the idea that this stupid bullshit about uh, a camera flare on a damn satellite up in space. It's a flare. We've already proven it. You can see with your own eyes that when you see those flares from those planets, they react to CMEs from the sun in the supergiants. Okay? And the supergiants are all factual. And then we have a huge planet because that damn thing is big. Okay? Because if you zoom into it and you see how huge it is, okay? It's very on the list. And they don't like you finding objects before they do because they want to name them. Sir this or sir that or some king or queen or something gets to put their name on it or their kid or their name their dog on the goddamn planet or something. It's found because we bought the telescope. Well, U.S. tax dollars pay for a shitload of stuff. So that's why we're going to blow the socks off. I can't wait until NASA throws something of the moon so I can actually show some zoomed in photos to blow the shit out of anybody lying about what's up on the moon. I'll show you the truth what's on the moon, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? So, more in the videos. Let's see what we can put. Now we're back at Beacon and I'll blow up to a thousand, but basically I think that should be Venus. Not positive, but as you see, they don't even know by what this or that is. Because basically when I was showing you Jupiter, and then the idea of all this stuff, folks, is actual something out there in space because you're getting that image back, okay? So it's a very interesting object right there. It looks like something that's got a big old chunk out of it, which would more than likely be a planet that's ran. See, they don't like that. They did that. I don't do that, okay? And they do not like the factual the idea that they don't want to talk about that planets have possibly or are possibly running into each other out in space, ladies and gentlemen. And there was an interesting shot a couple days ago. I should have captured it on that one there. Don't hardly ever look at the chronometer. But, man, there was uh, just almost like what you see right there. And I don't know if that's a seam. And that's not a seam, I don't think. And there was a real wild something of a flare that put off a lot of electrical energy the other day. And that would have been the 17th or 16th, okay? Of and then I'm going to take you to a video that I think that'll have the 12th or 15th. Let's blow this up at a thousand. So there's our star cluster, folks, and it was taken from the A head H1. So that's left towards Earth, and basically when you're on Earth, no, that's correct, wrong. That would be to the right. If you're standing on Earth and looking up towards the sun, that would be on the right hand side. Yeah, they don't like that telling you because that would be on the right hand side on a A head shot. Okay? And there you go. Blown up at a thousand. We have a star cluster up there. Okay? And that is not, repeat, not Pleiades. Okay? So there's an interesting object. And basically, if I take down here too, I'll go down and you'll be able to see what I was talking to mention to before below and in front of the sun. There you go. You see that planet right there? And that's sunlight that comes and hits Earth, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? That's our beam of light from from the sun, and there you go. There is the baby blue kachina, okay? It's not getting messed up by a photo on Earth of getting reflected and magnified. So it is that damn big, folks, because if, if I go right, remember that, so more than likely, it's like the size of Jupiter or... Yeah, pretty close, because if that is there in that, whatever the hell it is, because the idea that Jupiter is 10 point something, uh, would take 10 point something of them to make almost 11 Jupiters to make the sun, okay? So, and then you realize that the supergiants are huge in there to the right here, because how much they glow up and down, okay? And then remember the blue layer and so forth and so on. And then we have an interesting planet right above the sun there, too, also, that's able to be seen in this shot. The sun and the supergiants, okay? So and they so they, they there's a big gap missing here, front and back, and you know that when you look at those H one A and H Bs that the idea that the supergiants are there and they're all in a line. Okay, and there are some that shoot from the right hand side down to Earth, and that's what you see in Hawaii. So that's the biggest thing between us and the sun, more than likely, right there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay?
safe on the dark side of the supergiant.